Um, so I think the value of, of taking time in your class to do projects is really important because it's what they're going to take away and actually remember. So not what they're going to remember for the test next week, but what they're going to remember in five years. So sometimes you might think, you know, this project's taking too much time, but that project is what's going to sink in. So I did a big credit card project, and I still have kids that come back five years down the road and say, you know, I still don't have a credit card because I, I remembered how much money you lose through that project. You know, so they remembered that because we took the time to do it. Or the girl who emailed me about our forensics project saying, uh, my roommate's Coke ruined my books because she spilt her Coke and... My roommate said it was too far away, so it couldn't have been her Coke, but I used what we did with analyzing blood spatter to prove that her Coke did it. So it's that, it's that retention and absorption of, of what's gonna become a permanent part of their brain. Um, or at least they remember enough that they can look it up again once they need it. So for me, even if a project's taking a while, they need that time so they can mess up, make mistakes. So like if you give them all the content so that the project itself only takes two days, the project goes quick, but then they're not going to retain it because they didn't make the mistakes they needed to form those thoughts. But they need that experience of doing it wrong, which takes time. So then they can do it right, but it's in a way that's meaningful. Then it's not just, oh, Amy gave me these 12 steps and now I'm going to follow those. Then they're just being robotic instead of being in charge of their own learning. And then nothing sinks in. So when we did the Gothic Windows project, they first had to use a compass and paper and they constructed a tented arch with a circle inscribed and that proved to me they got the concept. That maybe took like a day. Then they went into Sketchpad uh, to make their designs. And then to check that they actually constructed the design, I gave their designs what I call the drag test. So if they properly constructed their design, then I can't mess it up. I can just move it or resize it. But if they just drew it, then I can totally mess it up. So usually the first time I do wreck their designs and then they're like, oh, you know, now I get how to do it. So with the casino project, most of the time was spent on the math and now they have a couple of days to work on their game board. Um, but our exhibition's not huge, so I don't want them spending a lot of class time making their games look nice. Whereas with the Gothic windows, those went up for a year. There was a lot of math and making it look beautiful. That was the math, all the mathematical decisions they were making and constructions. So the constructions did take a long time. But then when it got to coloring it in Photoshop, you know, that was only a day or so. So in general, the time spent on your final product should be proportional to, you know, what the display or exhibition is going to be. And the projects themselves do take time, but if they're structured well, then most of the time is spent on the math.